Hey guys, Planet Everything here, and today I'm going to be explaining the idea I'm just not sure if I can pull off. So, I had a science teacher about two weeks ago who replaced our other science teacher who was gone our, on our honeymoon for like a month. Uh, so, he was a really cool guy and he had this great idea. I was like one day, uh, a couple days before he left, I was like, you got uh, anything you would like me to 3D print like as a going away present? And he was like, actually, I had this great idea. So, I... He, so he explained to me this idea of a calendar, and I'm not gonna go into complete depth of it, but it was ten, it is, it is pretty much like every single day, um, you have a different amount of daytime in the day, right? And you have, let's say, 183 discs, one to represent uh, every two, uh, one to represent two days, uh, and then one at the end because it's an odd number to, start to, to represent one. Now let's say that we had all of those days and we had all of the day times. So the, the day time I mean is the amount of time in the day that there is sunlight. So that number, the number of hours in a day that there is sunlight, put it divided by six, divided by 24, and then multiply that number times 60. So 24 being the number of hours in a day, which would come out with a decimal, which would, that decimal would be the number of times that 60, or that, that the num, the number, uh, then that decimal, you could multiply that decimal times 60 to find the proportional amount of extrusion space in a 60 millimeter disc. I don't know how to explain this very well. And then we have our, so this is our daytime. Now every day, this amount of time gets shorter, right? So then we have a disc, and we have this larger semisphere right here that 183 of these discs can fit into. Now, we want to take these, this number of hours, divide it by 24, and then we find the amount of percentage, it's pretty much a percentage, that we then multiply times 60 millimeters, because 60 millimeters is this, length, is this diameter of this disc, and then if we multiply it times that, then it's going to give us like this, uh, it's going to give us like it's gonna give us probably 40 millimeters right here because every day fluctuates about one minute of daytime or about like not, not even like a lot of minutes of daytime so then I thought well then then Mark said uh, our science teacher said uh, well I want to do that for every single day and you know for one day there are so for one disc both sides will have a different day. The other side will have the other day, uh, will have the, God, how do I explain this? Almost the inverse, but like, if you go 183 days and then 183 days back, uh, or uh, yeah, 183 days back, uh, or 182 days back, then you get the number of days, and that will be how, how the, um, I, I can't explain this very well, but every day is a different amount of daylight, right? So we want to find out for every single one of these days how much daylight there is, and then put it over 24 and multiply that number times 60. So we made an equation. And my friend Connor helped me with this because he remembered parabolas a lot better than me from last year. But this equation was pretty much just showing um, so 16, I think it was like, I don't know how many hours are in the maximum day, but it's a lot. Uh, this is like the maximum hours in a day. And then we pretty much drew, made an equation 
to find the parabola that would estimate the uh, come within about a minute of every single day day's length. God, this is complicated, but this parabola would make it so that we can find out the number of hours in every single day and then we can multiply that number we could divide it by 24 and multiply it times 60 so that we could get the number of uh, millimeters that we want the disc to extrude out of the semicircle from four. I know this is really complicated, but if you can grasp this, like, yeah, that that's what I'm, I made it come true because I had a, a 10 hour car ride to Moab. And this is what I came out with. This is a semi-sphere with 180, three little notches. Now, I still have to print the uh, discs to go inside of each one of these notches because it's a real pain to make these discs, but I am working on it and it's the most difficult thing I've ever built or, or constructed. And the thing is that I designed this whole thing so for every single one of these little intrusions here, it's a different depth because that depth is proportional to the amount of daytime that there is in that day. So um, I really hope you guys understood this a, a little bit because I, I don't know, it took me a while to figure it out myself. But anyway, that's that's the idea. This actually took a week or six days to print because I printed it at the highest quality possible which is 0 0.06 millimeters which is really 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 small layer height like you can you can oh god you can like see the layers but barely it's a, a really solid figure because it's so together it's not really breaking very easily uh, yeah it's just the most difficult project if I ever I've ever uh, worked on with my 3D printer and I just really felt like sharing it with you guys but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also please share with your friends because you know sharing is caring